Welcome, everybody. My name is Dr. Lisa Salinas. I'm a lecturer in the Nutritional Sciences Department at UTRGV. And my name is Dr. Deepu George, and I serve as the Director of Integrative Behavioral Health at UT Health RGV. So we're really excited to be back with you guys again, uh, this time in the new year. And we're here today to do a little bit of cooking and a little bit of chatting yeah. about some topics uh, we thought surrounding love and relationships. So first we'll get started and we'll talk a little bit about the food we'll be preparing today. It is not a salad like last time, Deepu. That's right. Uh, we are more exciting this we're, time. We're, we're really amping it up a little bit and we're going to be creating something that is super easy to make at home for a loved one. That loved one could be a partner, it could be a, a child, it could be your grandmother. It's really fun, very versatile, and easy and also nutritious. Yeah. So, it checks all my boxes. Right, and as Lisa <laughs> sort of goes through that, uh, as a behavioral health professional and as a partner, as a family member, as a friend, as a colleague, one of the things that I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about today is loving relationships and invite you to consider a couple of things that you can do to your, do to your loved ones and in your life uh, to help you become better at relationships. So speaking of that, for me as a dietitian, as a mom, as a wife, as a friend, for me the ultimate expression of love is to create food that not only tastes delicious but also happens to also be good for our bodies. And so this is a perfect example of that today. Uh, sometimes we talk about chocolate and maybe in not such a great light, but mm -hmm. today I'm I'm bringing it back and I'm going to teach you a little bit about what chocolate has to offer, um, most specifically dark chocolate. And then we're gonna be adding some ingredients in that also amp up the nutritional value of that chocolate. That's awesome. So I see that we have like several little things on the, on the table here. So walk me through what you have here. Yeah, so here we just have some very simple dark chocolate chips. Okay. You can buy these both just in um, just regular dark chocolate chips, but mm -hmm. you can also find these very specifically vegan um, dark chocolate chips, which I know is very, good. very important for you that. and and others who are trying to cut back on their animal product intake. Yeah. And the main thing is that the chocolate that is not vegan may or may not just contain some milk solids. Right. So that would be kind of the difference. Right. We also have some fruits here in front of us. We've got some fresh blueberries and we have some dried cranberries. Nice. And again, I wanted to be able to show the versatility of this recipe. Mm -hmm. We also have some nuts. So these are some chopped pecans, as well as some slivered almonds. And so we're gonna be creating this chocolate bark today that again is super simple. Mm -hmm. It's also very forgiving. It's not supposed very to necessarily look that beautiful uh -huh. because it's really gonna be a very rustic, breaking of this chocolate once right. it's refrigerated. Um, so what we're gonna do first actually is we're going to melt the chocolate and okay. the way you melt this chocolate is super simple. You're going to take the bowl of chocolate and you're going to throw it in the microwave in 20 second increments. Okay. And so you're gonna uh, put it in the microwave for 20 seconds, remove it, stir it, stir it, throw it back in for 20 seconds, remove it and stir it. You're gonna cycle through that about three or four times. It'll depend on your microwave and the chocolate pieces that you're using. And what are you looking for? Are you looking for it to be like gooey? We're looking for a nice, smooth, flowing chocolate. Ah, That's okay. what we're going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the microwave and then we can come back and chat a little bit. Sounds like fun. I have melted our chocolate okay. and so we're ready to pour it on our parchment lined cookie sheet. Okay. And while I'm doing that, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about love and relationships. So what I thought we could do is to invite our viewers to consider sort of like a more down to earth, realistic, dressed down definition of love instead of like relying on our most popular songs and other things that we usually use as reference points for love, right? What a great idea. So if we really like say to each other uh, in our communities, in our families and relationships that look, if we want to look at love, love is really a painful, poignant, touching attempt by two flawed individuals to try to meet each other's needs in situations of gross uncertainty and ignorance about who they are 
and who we are as people, but we're going to do our best to get it right. Right? That's such a generous, uh, more forgiving definition of love. Very forgiving. That was the word I thought of. Yeah, yeah. and we sort of talked about it as part of your recipe, and I, that's why I thought it was good that you brought that into your uh, what we are making today. So that's what I really want to focus on, right? So a lot of this is based on the work of a British philosopher named Alain de Botton, and we're going to give you the link to a podcast that I really want people to listen to. And he really begins to say, the starting point of love is the acceptance that we are all flawed creatures. And as flawed creatures, we are really trying to connect and be vulnerable. And vulnerability is an essential component to long-lasting relationships or enriching relationships. And what I thought of immediately when you were talking about being a flawed individual is it's important for both members of a relationship yeah. to recognize that not only are they flawed in some way, mm -hmm. but also the other person as well and to accept that. Absolutely, right? Like, and being generous in our interpretation of our family member or lover or friend or colleague when something doesn't go right, right? right? We immediately tend to blame the person. Mm -hmm. uh, we rarely reflect on our own definitions and expectations of what love is, right? right? right. We tend to then uh, focus on the person and how flawed they are not our internal attributions that we have about this concept of love or relationship. Of course. And we may have gathered that from these outside influences, Absolutely. like you mentioned yeah. before. Absolutely, yeah. You know, we, we don't want to blame everything on the good songs and the movies out there, <laughs> but hopefully we can slow down and sort of take a more um, intuitive look at ourselves and be more mindful about what we do. And, you know, I know we want to put some things on here to spice it up with some yeah, fruits and Yeah, we're going to decorate uh, some chocolate. We're going to do that. And, you know, once we uh, do that, I think I'll go over some recommendations on how to take this more generous definition of love and how to sort of activate it in our lives. So we'll do that towards the end. Terrific, We'll terrific. get back to the wonderful thing So, yeah, well, we're going to get back to my expression of love, which is through chocolate bark and various other things. Perfect. But um, what I would love to do is, as we're kind of creating this chocolate bark, which will eventually be going into the fridge, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the ingredients yeah. that we're using in a more general <clears throat> sense. I'd love to, like to talk about fruits. I'd like to talk about... Uh, the nuts, uh, alternative ingredients in case there are allergies, right. um, and then talk about uh, the star of the show, which is the chocolate. So yeah. uh, as I'm doing that, why don't you take a side and I'll take a side yeah. and we'll create uh, some chocolate bark. So what do I have here? So we have some dried cranberries over here, and uh, I'm going to talk about kind of fruit in a more general sense, but I like to talk about fruit not in what it doesn't have, because we can talk about that it's low calorie, we can talk about it that it's low fat. But what I really like to talk about is actually what it does have. And that is a bunch of vitamins and minerals, including potassium, vitamin A, vitamin C, also fiber, which is our the friend of our tummies. Yeah. And also polyphenols, which are it's antioxidants. Oh, it is a big word. Um, so these are antioxidants in our body that fight against uh, natural and um, kind of environmental oxidation. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is a great benefit of uh, fruits in our diet. And while uh, I'm sprinkling on some nuts, let's, let's move forward with how nuts really can amp up our diet as yeah. well. And what, what do I have here? So right here I have you working with some slivered almonds. Now okay. I want to mention that you might want to actually roast uh, your the nuts that you're using a little bit before applying them to the chocolate. Okay. It's really about what taste you're looking for. In this case I did just use the raw nuts. In this case I have pecans and you have almonds, but you can roast them beforehand. That's okay. an option as well. And you put these in the middle? I actually just, I just put them put kind them of in the same area where I put my fruit just to kind of disperse it throughout. And nuts are a really neat food. There's been a lot of really great research on nuts uh, and nut consumption and showing the influence of 
regular nut consumption. And when I say that, I mean about a quarter cup or a handful okay. uh, regularly. So maybe up to daily, daily, you know, at least five times, four to five times a week, I would say. Okay. And um, again, it doesn't take much. A quarter cup is not, it's not that Fun much. Yeah. And there's been evidence that it can decrease rates of cancer, of mm -hmm. heart disease, respiratory disease, and they are also a very filling kind of snack. Right. So that's important kind of on the day-to-day -day aspect of things as well. Excellent. So we talked about the fruit and we talked about the nuts, and so I'd love to talk really quickly about the chocolate, but maybe I'll do that um, after we put this in the fridge. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, go a little bit further with what you were talking about. Absolutely, yeah. um, So this stays in the fridge for how long? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the fridge mm -hmm. and really, ideally it would be overnight, okay. but you can, it will harden after an hour, actually. Okay. So, um, so if you're but, in a hurry, if you have Exactly, hour. if you, you know, had plans on making this chocolate bark for somebody and you're seeing them tonight, then it'll work. It but I would recommend a longer refrigeration time and it will become a little bit more hard and easy to break right. and things so like that. Like exactly, exactly. Perfect. So as our chocolate is being refrigerated, what I thought we can do is chat a little bit about uh, details regarding how to live out and act out on this more generous definition of love, right? So one, we'll have a podcast link on our YouTube so that people can go and listen to that. Uh, two, here are some practical things I want you to consider. So if you have a car, you bought a car yep. and you really love your car, uh, you're really, hopefully, you'll take care of it, right? Hopefully you'll wash it every now and then, but you'll definitely take it for oil change and other things, right? Because right? right. when the engine light shows up, you're not gonna put a duct tape over it and keep driving. Just pretend it's not there. You yeah. could. You could. It'll drive for a couple more miles or days and then it's done, right? Okay. Same thing with relationships. So what are the repeated things that we do mindfully for each other over time? And what are the repeated checkups that we do for our loving relationships in our life? So there's a Buddhist monk, uh, his name is Thich Nhat Hanh, and he sort of provides these five mantras to sort of really think through our relationship. So yeah, I do want to emphasize that we are talking about all relationships, not just romantic ones, right? These are things that you can do for uh, family members, friends, people that are really important to you. So there's a Buddhist monk named Thich Nhat Hanh and he talks about these five mantras that you can sort of live by. And it is a series of meditations or like mindful awareness that you can have. And then once you think about these and you can really think about, if I were to put this into practice in my life, what kind of behavioral changes would I make uh, in my relationships or in the way I act in relationships, right? Right. Then these are like five principles. Uh, so what I'm going to do is have these little things uh, in a worksheet and okay. we're going to attach it so that each of you can download it Terrific. and make a behavioral commitment to each of these categories and we'll provide you with some examples of what you can do uh, and some additional resources so hopefully these can serve as anchors to enrich your relationships in the future. Through the magic of television, right. we do have a uh, our chocolate bark ready to go, there ready to be broken. Ooh, and um, again, what I love about this is just it's it's kind of messy, but mm -hmm. it's it's beautiful at the same time, right. and it's colorful. And one thing that I'd like to touch on before I actually talk about health benefits of chocolate yeah. is just how eclectic this recipe is right. and what else you can use in it. You can really use any other fresh fruit that right. you uh, may come across or that you enjoy, yeah. sliced strawberries, blackberries, but you can also use any of the dried fruits. You can okay. do, you can chop up some dried apricots, you can use some dried cherries. Right. Um, and then in terms of, I mentioned this before, but there are options other than nuts if somebody has a nut allergy mm -hmm. you might want to put just some simple oats on oh. there uh increase the fiber right. content even more yeah. and uh you can put some granola on there okay uh maybe even just some high fiber cereal right. so uh and then in terms of the nuts you can use really any nuts that are out there you have right. hazelnuts you have walnuts 
and things like that. So it's very eclectic and you can really personalize it depending on what you enjoy or depending on what your loved one enjoys. Right, and so really the chocolate is the canvas. Yes, and absolutely. And with whatever absolutely. you get from the other side. Now that being said, um, why don't we break it up and I'll tell you a little bit more about chocolate. Yeah. Now, uh, chocolate is filled with antioxidants, which I had mentioned before when I talked about fruit. Right. And it's exciting because there's actually some frontline research that's going on right now with using chocolate and determining its ability to fight various diseases, like wow. the de diseases I was speaking of before, like <laughs> cancer, like heart disease. Uh -huh. There's actually a trial right now called the COSMOS trial, okay. which is a trial uh, giving individuals, um, women, older than 65, men older than 60, giving them capsules of uh, chocolate flavanols. It's 750 milligrams, which is the equivalent of about, I would say about uh, four and a half ounces of mm -hmm. dark chocolate. Uh, but this is in pill form, and they're following them over time to see what the influence is on rates of cancer, rates of heart disease different levels of cholesterol and things of that nature. Right. So that's really exciting research and they wouldn't be doing it unless we already knew there was something out there regarding flavanols and our health. And its benefits. And its benefits, exactly. And one thing I didn't mention before in terms of uh, health benefits of fruit and specifically berries, which is why I, I wanted to use fresh blueberries today, is that um, you can meet your requirements for your antioxidant intake mm -hmm. with just one cup of berries a day. Oh, that's nice. Which is really neat. There is not an actual recommended daily allowance for mm -hmm. the for antioxidants, but in terms of the research that's out there right. and what levels benefit us. Now that being said, I do recommend that people get their anti they 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 eat more than just what is recommended. Sure. Um, and the reason for that is we don't yet know exactly the bioavailability of a lot of these different compounds. Right. And so you want to make sure you give your body plenty to work with in case some of it is not absorbed. Right. So essentially uh, the, what you recommended, but you can eat more. Yes, exactly. And that's where the chocolate comes in, right? right. And that's where the nuts come in. Right. So it's really a nice combination of, of antioxidants. That's awesome. So, thank you for being with us today. Uh, we just want you to know as we sign off, what matters to your health matters to us here at UT Health RGB. And we're going to try these. Yeah, let's go for All it. Right. Yeah. That was really good.